Hello beautiful Taurus and welcome to your mid-month October reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I am from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker. Please keep in mind, Tauruses, that this is a general collective reading, so not all messages will resonate for every single Taurus out there. If for some reason you want further clarification on any situation you are experiencing at this point in time, I do offer one-on-one -on -one readings, and you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. With all that in mind, let's go ahead and get right into your reading, and we're going to start off with the Tea Leaf Fortune cards to see what energies or situations may be coming up for you for the rest of the month. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Tauruses for the rest of October? Okay, we got one. Let's take a look at the other half of the deck and see what may come up. Spirit, any messages for my Tauruses for the rest of October? Yes, we got one. All right, so your first card is the bow. You are highly thought of. Beautiful. And your second card is Wind Chimes, Peace and Harmony. Beautiful as well. Let's go ahead and start clarifying these cards with the tarot deck. And I'm using the Sugar Skull Tarot for the rest of the month. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Tauruses regarding this bow? Whoa. Let's see. Got one. Oh, that's way too many. All right, well, let's try again. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Tauruses regarding this bow? All right, let's take a look. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Moon card. Wow, that's amazing. And then we have Strength reversed at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. Okay, so with strength here at the bottom of the deck, we have Leo energy, we have Pisces energy with the Moon card, more Pisces energy with the Ten of Cups, and Virgo with the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Tauruses, well, I definitely can see why this person or group of people um, think of you so highly. Um, this definitely looks like someone admires you for all these incredible qualities that you have. So being fiercely independent and successful of your own accord or your own making, someone may also seem to think that you just have the most beautiful, perfect seeming life, or at least perfect in their idea of what perfect looks like in terms of whether that's family life, home life, um, love life things like that. And it looks like they also think you're extremely insightful and possibly even magical. I may be talking to another tarot reader here. <laughs> if you are a reader and this um, resonates for you, please leave a like and a comment. Um, very, very interesting. And it feels like you don't quite see these amazing things about yourself. You may be feeling a little kind of out of sorts, not feeling like yourself, not feeling as strong or as magical as you usually do or not feeling like things at home are you know the picture perfect instagram worthy um site that it looks like online or you may be feeling really drawn um worn down and burnt out from working so hard and putting in all those late nights to achieve what it is that you achieve on a daily basis you may feel just extremely worn out burnt out and things like that, or just very also frustrated with a lot of things that are going on in your life right now in these areas. And you may feel like you're also not capable of keeping these things together or keeping the facade of these things together. Or you may be feeling extreme imposter syndrome at the same time, but I feel like there are people around you and probably people that you don't even know see you um, they definitely see you for what you truly are, and you seem like an amazing person, Taurus. I'm just gonna put that on out there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Numinous Astro deck and see what additional messages may be coming for us, astrologically speaking, regarding this bow. Spare, what messages do you have for my Tauruses regarding this bow? There you are, Taurus the bombshell. 
You're literally all of this and then some. Um, absolutely amazing. I mean, this is you to a T. We have semi sextile at the bottom of the deck. This is the aspect of allowing. It encourages, sees the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to, compensates, intuits, tempers, responds, cycles, grows, realizes, and rewards. So even though it may feel like you're not really getting anywhere in your life or you feel like things may be falling apart or everything that you do have in your life isn't really, um, you know, something you deserve, I mean, definitely take a step back and look at everything that you have achieved or, you know, try and see if there's someone someone else's perspective out there that you haven't been listening to very well and you know look at it from their perspective because i think they see some really incredible potential a and b that you know you do have a lot of really beautiful blessings here in your life whether you realize it or not and that you are absolutely worthy of every single bit of it all right tauruses let's go ahead and take a look at the monology oracle for some final advice or messages surrounding this bow Spirit, what additional advice or messages do you have for my Tauruses surrounding this bow? Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. What do you need to make the first move on? Hmm. Is this making the first move on self-care? On... Recognizing your blessings, on recognizing your power. Hmm. Very interesting. I wonder if some of you guys need time in therapy or with a therapist. That just came up. Some of you guys may really, really need to, to kind of take a step back and hear from someone else just like how, I mean, I keep using the word blessed. I'm trying to find another word for it, but just how much you've really, really achieved and mastered in this lifetime. Mastered the art of um, contentment and peace in your life in, t in terms of emotional and um, love um, in terms of creating a life for yourself that is self-sustainable, that is not reliant upon other people's um, value systems on whether <laughs> you're capable of producing, um, you know, effective work. You've managed to kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of evade that judgment process or, um, idea of you have to work in a steady, safe, um, pre-constructed work environment to be successful in life. And that, you know, <laughs> that your insight and your capabilities to tap into the divine feminine and the inner secret knowledge that sometimes not all of us are capable of doing is absolutely beautiful. Um, you guys definitely kind of need a reminder of this, of who you guys are, because you're that bitch. <laughs> I don't care if you're a man and you're watching this, you're that bitch, Taurus, okay? <laughs> what else? Mm. South note at the bottom of the deck, don't let your past hold you back. A lot of you guys are probably going through imposter syndrome at this point in time. Some of you guys may be really, really dwelling on, um either issues from the past, maybe recirculate, uh, recirculating or coming back around. It is Mercury retrograde, so we're all kind of going through it, and there's a lot of things popping up from the past that are making us all a little, like, uncertain. <laughs> like, uh, did we really do all these things to get where we are? Is everything I know a, a sham? That kind of thing. I'm definitely going through it myself, so I completely understand if that's where you are as well. But it's definitely time for you guys to kind of take, um, you know, ownership of just how much you have created and how far you have come in this lifetime, Tauruses. And don't let the past um, derail you or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. <laughs> oh, shoot. What is the word? 
Oh, delegitimize everything that you've come into. Delegitimize. That's what I was trying to think of. All right, Taurus says, so that is what I'm seeing for this bow. Let's go ahead and clear the table and take a look at the next card, which is going to be the wind chimes. All right, wind chimes, peace and harmony. I think we could all use a little bit of that. Um, let's go ahead and shuffle up the tarot deck and take a look at what spirit has to say for you about these wind chimes. Let's take a look. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Tauruses regarding these wind chimes? Interesting. Is it three? It is three. Look at that. Okay. So we have the Chariot reversed, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Swords reversed. And Strength again reversed at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these. You definitely saw me shuffle. So it's interesting that the strength card would come back up again. All right, so we know that strength is Leo energy. We have Libra with the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords, and Cancer with the Chariot card. This definitely feels like you trying to quiet your mind right now, Tauruses. The Knight of Swords definitely feels like the thoughts bouncing around inside of your brain at this point in time. And you have the chariot here and the two of swords in reverse flanking the center card. And it feels like you are literally doing everything you possibly can to kind of quiet all of this nonsense that's going on inside your head. And again, with the strength card in reverse here at the bottom of the deck, it feels like you are just screaming for peace and harmony. You are doing everything in your power to just keep it together and to keep yourself from uh, self imploding or, you know, having random outbursts every time you think or feel something coming through emotionally. It feels very volatile for you right now at this time mentally, um, which is happening again to a lot of people here with mercury retrograde going on so don't feel bad if you're feeling like this and you need to take a break because it feels like that you need a break you need to literally go somewhere take a mini vacation go stay like at a beach house where there's nobody around or in a like a field something out in nature where you can just sit here and allow yourself to just relax that's the biggest thing I'm getting. It's like on the one hand, your brain knows not to make rash decisions, not knows not to act on these thoughts that you're thinking and um, not to say everything that comes to your mind. And same thing here with the chariot in reverse. It's like we are not moving, we are not making a decision until we get all of this nonsense sorted out, which is good. Good on you for recognizing that these emotions and thoughts may not necessarily be your own or be true to your reality so definitely heed that if you feel like you're having really crazy thoughts coming into your head and you're not sure what to do don't act on them right now okay just allow them to kind of pass through let them scream around in your mind for a little bit um, but just don't act on them essentially excuse me is what I'm getting here excuse me Let's go ahead and take a look at the Numinous Astro deck and see where this may be happening for you, astrologically speaking. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Tauruses regarding these wind chimes? Let's see, we got two. Okay, so we have the 10th house of reputation. This is the house of career, responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, standing, authority figures, legacy, purpose, pinnacle, the patriarchy, and empire. So for a lot of you, this may be in regards to your career at this point in time. It feels like you are just screaming um, about something that's really either bothering you or feels like you may not be completely in control anymore in some aspects. And I honestly, I feel like this is the perfect time to take a vacation for you guys frankly. Um, with Mercury retrograde going on and all this stuff that's happening inside you mentally, probably the best time to get away if you can. If you have vacation time and you work for somebody else, take a vacation. If you work for yourself, 
take a vacation. <laughs> this is the time. What else do you have? Libra here that came up with the 10th house. You may have Libra in the 10th house, um, but definitely check and see where Libra falls in your chart, what planets, um, which house. Again, if it's not the 10th house, it would be good to look and see where that falls. We have a lot of things happening in Libra right now. We have a new moon in Libra coming up tomorrow, at least from the time that I'm recording this. We have the sun in Libra. We have Mercury retrograde in Libra, if I'm remembering co uh, correctly. We have a lot of stuff happening in Libra. So this is definitely talking about bringing together that relationship with yourself, repairing that relationship with yourself, with your mind, with your heart, your soul. Um, and your emotions. This is definitely a time to reharmonize everything. And personally, I think you need a break. That's just me. <laughs> I would definitely recommend doing so at this time if you are able to, but this definitely talks about kind of bringing together and bringing harmony again into your life, into your mental health, and into other spaces around you, possibly in your 10th house as well. Let's take a look and see what's at the bottom of the decks. Oh, okay, this card again. I cannot pr pronounce this card at all. I don't remember if this came up for the bow, if this came up for... I know it's come up for a lot of other signs towards the end of the month, but anyways, this is this <laughs> the aspect of quincunx, the aspect of complexity. It irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the mark, requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates and transforms. Um, yeah, this is a very big source of frustration for you. It's very, very irritating. I can feel it. It's just, your mind is screaming for a break or something. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at the Moonology Oracle for final advice or messages. Spirit, what final messages and advice do you have for my Tauruses regarding, uh, regarding these wind chimes? That's uh, a lot, but let's let's take a look. Let's see. I'm curious. We have the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. All right. We have new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of screaming going on mentally about fears. Um, anxieties. We have new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. And we also have new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than to take. And I feel like this talks about giving time to yourself. Giving time to yourself rather than taking time and energy from yourself to keep pushing, to keep striving at the cost of your mental health. This is a time to give yourself a mental break. Absolutely. At the bottom of the deck, we have New Moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Mm -hmm. Restoring that confidence within yourself. Absolutely. Oh, this is, if this isn't like the biggest cry for I need self care, I don't know what is, Taurus is. This is definitely a really great time for you guys to do this if you're able to. Anyways, go ahead and leave a like and a comment if this resonated for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do monthly and mid-monthly readings as well as occasional pick of cards. Um, as always, if you want to schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. And if you want to follow me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, that information is below as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your month, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!